Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fourth day of my week featuring Lone Foam. Today I'm using this adorable stamp set which is called Cheery Christmas and there are also matching dies. So first I'm going to stamp some of the images from this stamp set. To stamp I am going to use my mini misty so that I can stamp many images at once. I'm going to use black ink to stamp everything and uh, you will see that I have stamped the little mistletoe here but uh, I will end up uh, stamping it again instead of uh, using black ink by using uh, green ink later on. So I have all the images ready there and today instead of using my Copic markers I decided to use my Prismacolor pencils. Just because the latest cards were uh, colored by using my Copic markers, I decided to use my Prisma colors since I thought that they were neglected and they, they needed a little bit of love. I am starting coloring from those little lights. I am using only two shades of each color and that's because uh, the area is so tiny that you can't really do a lot of shading. One tip that I can give you about the Prismacolor pencils that made a really great uh, difference for me is this uh, pencil sharpener because um, I find that uh, when I use this one the lid of my pencil doesn't break as uh, easily as it was when I was uh, using uh, my random uh, pencil uh, sharpeners. I will continue to color all my images using uh, oranges and yellows for the little bird and browns for my little reindeer. And here is everything colored. Notice that I have uh, stamped the mistletoe again in green and then just colored the red part. And also this is uh, only coloring with pencils, no gumsol or any blending was done with any other medium, just my pencils. So now I am ready to cut out all the images, so I'm going to use the matching ties. I have also cut out a red ring and uh, this uh, backing for my shaker card, so obviously I am going for a shaker card today. I am going to apply some strong adhesive at one side of this red ring and then I'm going to stick on top my acetate. And as always my acetate is just uh, coming from old packaging that I recycle and I use on my shaker cards. So all that's left to do now is to use my foam tape and I'm going to go all over that ring to create an area where I can add the sequins inside. Notice how I have doubled up my foam. So now that I am cutting it, it's already two layers of foam. And this way I am able to add more uh, height on my shaker card, uh, which is going to let my sequence move freely. This foam tape is super easy to cut when you are using non-stick uh, scissors. These are by Tonic. Or you can use your Tim uh, Holtz scissors. They are pretty much the same thing. And uh, I am going to go all around the ring with my foam. Just because this is so thin, it's really easy to manipulate. So now it's time to add the sequins. I have a mix here with uh, beautiful um, colors in silver and uh, gold. And there are also some uh, tiny little reindeers inside. You might be able to see that in the close-up photos at the end of the video. And now I'm ready to stick the backing so that my shaker element is ready. I always love the part when I turn the shaker element and I can uh, move everything inside. And you see that my cat was really interested in that as well. And just because my element is uh, round, my shaker element is round, I decided to go with a circle card today. So I have already cut out of um, green cardstock two circles. I have scored the top on one of them. And I'm going to stick one on top of the other. I used a really strong adhesive since I don't want my card to fall apart. And this is a tiny little card which is great to add in a present that you give for Christmas. I always like to add uh, little uh, cards inside my presents. For my sentiment I'm using Merry Christmas which is the exact same uh, sentiment that I used on yesterday's card. Now notice how I follow the curve of the circle while I am sticking my stamp on the stamping block. And I am going to do the same technique for both words, Merry and Christmas, and uh, I am stamping everything by using my Versamark ink. I applied white embossing powder and I have also heat set it with my heat gun and now I'm going to stick my shaker element at the center of my round card. 
the base of my card is now ready, all I have to do now is to stick all the little elements on top. I'm not going to use foam tape at the back of all those elements, just because I already have enough bulk on my card. As always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. In the supply list, you will find links to online shops where you can get the supplies. After sticking all my little images down, I think that it's looking adorable, but I kind of want to add a touch of um, white and uh, this is going to bind everything together. The white border around the images as well as the white Merry Christmas. So with my gel pen, I'm going to add some faux stitching all around the red ring. And I think this detail really makes a big difference. To finish it off, I'm using my Nuvo Crystal Drops and that uh, dries totally clear, no grit, glitter or anything, it just makes everything shiny. And um, I'm also going to add a little bit on his uh, peak. And to finish it off, I'm also going to add a little bit of my Nuvo Glitter Drops and that's uh, the color of Ruby Slippers, which not only is red, but it also has uh, glitter inside. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for a Halloween card using lone foam stamps. Thank you all for watching!